in a championship setting and seemingly better than ever, this number one contender in the women's flyweight division is ready to dethrone the champion. A lot of people believe she's going to get the job done. Yeah, a lot of people believe it because they see in her performance how good she is, how talented she is, how confident she is. She has done everything to make sure that she does not mess up or lose out on this second chance. She's done this before. It took a lot to get back. Tonight, she intends to deliver and become the champion finally. Perhaps got to be mindful of an adrenaline dump she gave so much to the media and fans all week. I know she's fired up. Got to manage that energy in advance of the biggest fight of your life. Check. She really is the total package, Daniel Cormier, as a fighter inside the octagon and as an intimidator outside of it. I mean, that, that stare down will cut a man like me right there. Oh, it's unbelievable, John. I mean, just the, the mind game that Joanna can play on her opponents is unreal. Every time I think about I think about how she tortured Carla Esparza leading into her first UFC championship fight. It seemed as though Esparza just wanted to be done with it by the time the whole thing was over. But you can only talk so much. Ultimately, you have to back it up, and Joanna and Jacek sure can back it up. the tape for this flyweight championship fight. Now for the official introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Jacek getting back at it tonight. Guillaume Jacek's hook shot blocked, though, by the defense. Nice job getting that guard up to prevent any further damage. All right, well, the kickboxer did not miss. She closed his eye, and she did not miss like there. That. This could be like the end of the I mean, she hurt her so bad with that big head kick. I don't know how she's standing. So more output, at least in the early going. Check strike attempt there is blocked. Oh, nice. Nice. Staying busy in the clinch, lands a nice punch there. Blonde fighter gets connected on and fiercely there by that overhand. Oh, another right hand. She can't take too many of those. Move. 
up from the fighter there because she was getting tagged on the feet. All right, so she told us in the fighter meeting that body shots were going to be key, and they certainly have been. She invested early, and now you're starting to see some damage on the other side. Yeah, she's doing a great job of following the game plan. She spoke this in the fighter meeting about going to the body, about investing, not worrying about seeing the outcome right away. And it's starting to show now as this fight gets started. All right, so a storyline developing. You see a cut has been opened around her eye. She's got a cut on her eye. She's been getting hit in that same spot. The cut's... Oh, higher there. Her best strike in the fight. Her best strike, and you don't see this type of power normally in this weight class, but she lands, and she lands very effectively. Oh. What a fight. You know, Jai Jack swelling now around the jaw area, so we'll keep an eye on that as this fight continues. Oh, man. Oh, man, another strike gets through. This could be over soon. All right, champ, I'm not a doctor, but she has absorbed so much damage to that facial region. Might even have a fracture of some kind. Yeah, it seems like something's broken in there. You don't swell that much unless something really bad. You ready to fight? Ready. Second Go. round underway. All right, so here we go. The crowd on its feet as this next round gets underway. You saw in the previous round, both fighters got rocked. I don't think the scorecards are going to be needed for this round. No, the scorecards will not be needed. If we continue to fight as we did in the previous round, somebody... Oh, is that a huge strike right there, DC? Great shot landed. Now she's got to go chase her down and get another one off the face. Back to the feet. Tonight rocked her opponent pretty significantly, but you gotta think there's a little bit of disappointment that she wasn't able to get. She should be disappointed that she didn't finish the fight. This would look like it was over. If she gets this opportunity again, she's gonna go all out to try to finish the fight. Well, not just a high output fight to this point, but a high action. <laughs> All right, let's get it inside of Bruce Buffer. He has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 38 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC flyweight champion of the world, Caitlin Lombardi-Cupay.